What's up guys and welcome back to today's video. Super excited, the energy's high this morning. Going back to Sheepy Race. I know we've been doing a lot of driving there recently, but today's for the good stuff. Today we're hopping on the dyno. We're gonna see the twin turbo Oricon make some power for the first time. And you guys know I have some little secrets and surprises for the Lambo that you guys are gonna like. All right, let's go. As of right now, we kind of have a little bit of a dilemma. This car is so low and it's so wide, we don't know what dyno it's gonna go on. Originally it was gonna go on the main line, but I think we're actually gonna throw on the Mustang dyno, but we're a little nervous about how low it is. So it's gonna be a little bit nerve wracking seeing this thing get on the dyno. Do you think it will fit? If it doesn't, we have that one, but the problem is we have to disconnect the drive shaft for that one. I'm not gonna do it, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> So we were gonna use the Mustang dyno, but about to throw it on, we noticed that, well, yeah, this side's actually not that bad. The rear right needs to be adjusted a little bit. It actually sits pretty low. Right yeah, and there's a really tight spot on the rear quarter panel where when we go under load and you hit boost, Alex was saying that this could drop a half inch. So we don't wanna risk damaging the kit right now because we haven't adjusted the height. So unfortunately, we're not gonna go on that dyno. It's a lot easier to go on that dyno, but we're gonna squat too much and we don't wanna touch the fender and ruin anything. So we're gonna be using the hub sensor dyno, which will take the wheels off. Takes a little bit longer, but it's gonna eliminate any issues or any fear of us ruining that rear quarter panel. I notice you're using the big camera. Helix Sleep and getting good sleep is extremely important to me, which is why I switched to a Helix mattress. I've had my mattress now for about three months and I absolutely love it. One of my favorite things about Helix is that they have a personal quiz that you're able to take so you can make sure that whatever mattress you buy from them is best suited to your needs. Helix knows that everyone's body is different, which means everyone's needs are different, which is why they make beds that are tailored and are suited to different sleep preferences for everyone out there. I'm a back sleeper and I like a medium firmness, which is why I have the Midnight Luxe mattress. One of the best things about this mattress was how 
how easy it was to get it here. When I think about getting a new mattress, I dread about going and picking it out and then bringing a whole big mattress. But one of the best things about Helix, they send it to you shipped in a box that's vacuum sealed. So when you unbox it, you take apart the plastic and it inflates to the size of whatever bed you got. It's really awesome to watch and it's extremely easy to transport to wherever you need to put it. And you get 100 nights to decide if you like the mattress and if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and take it for free. And you'll also get your money back. If you're in the market for a new bed, check out Helix. Click the link down below in the description or go to helixsleep.com forward slash TJ Hunt to get $200 off of your mattress. Make the best decision for your body and click the links down below. Thank you so much for Helix for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. consistently making about 780 to 800 horsepower. We currently have the cats in the car. We left the cats in the car because the cats can stay in while tuning it because we have the Motex system, it's able to adjust. Once the cats come out, we're gonna pick up an additional 70 horsepower, but it really doesn't matter. The reason why we're taking the cats out is because over time as they get really hot, if those cats start to fall apart, we'll get bits and pieces of them through the exhaust and it'll end up going through the turbo system, which we don't want that. We haven't even tuned for any of the anti-lag or two-step that we're gonna be putting on this car. We're gonna be installing a switch on the car so we can do rolling anti-lag, which we're not gonna be installing today, unfortunately. Originally, we had planned to, but we're actually gonna save that for when we get the exhaust because the exhaust on this car is not our actual exhaust. That's gonna be coming in tomorrow, which we're gonna come back for and it's really ridiculous looking. Trust me, you're gonna wanna wait for it. I also wanna add that we're making this much power on 91. If we wanted to make a thousand horsepower, all we'd have to do is just throw in the fueling system that can handle E85. I ultimately decided I didn't really wanna go for a thousand plus horsepower. I know it's probably a little bit disappointing to hear, but hear me out. The Corvette's gonna be making 1100, 1200 horsepower. I'm already gonna have a super fast car. I'm able to run the stock clutch in this Ergon and I already have so much money invested into this car adding another like 30 grand or whatever it is to have another 200 horsepower i just the first time i was like i don't need it i don't want to break this car or wreck this car before sema i'll stick with the 800 wheel where we are right now and after sema we'll go back in add fueling break a thousand just to say we could for now i'm gonna settle for about mid 800s which literally sounds ridiculous to say i'm gonna settle for that but i'll settle for that for now Stopping by West Coast Exotics again. Every time I'm at Sheepy, I always come over to West Coast Exotics. I'm literally here multiple times a week. I showed you guys that the G-Wagon was getting washed the last time we were here, which was literally yesterday, and today it's on the showroom floor. So I just wanted to go back and get one last look at the G-Wagon and say my final goodbyes. Okay, here she is. If anyone wants to come pick it up, Hunter wants to sell it to you. Yes, I do. You guys see, Hunter could sell me a fucking piece of poop. So <laughs> if you guys are looking for something, don't look at this car because he'll end up selling it to you. It's true. This is what cars look like whenever TJ doesn't own them. Actually, he My, still owns it. So I mean, I still technically own it. <laughs> little, little, little oh man. Rubby hands for a moment. I seriously hope that one of you, maybe you can't, but maybe your dad, your cousin, your uncle, your no, mom, you or, or you, you're looking for a G-Wagon, you want to stand out, 
Someone come take good care of her. And Kim Kardashian has this car. Drake has this, like the same color. That was TJ the Hunt has this car. TJ Hunt has this car. You could be the next one. What was the, the G, the, the Mercedes announcement about not having V8s and stuff? So, and then this car, because this, the next gen needs a V8. Needs a V8. Well, that we, it was going to be a V8. We don't know right now, but 2022, no more V8 production for AMG models, which actually- What would AMG for, do without V8? Does that mean there's not gonna make AMGs? We don't know yet. We're trying to find out. It's I mean- It's kind of a weird thing. Mercedes made some announcement that they were gonna say for 2022, they're not gonna be making any of the V8. So no G63. The SLS, well not even SLS, it's called AMG GT Black Series, right? So the most recent Black Series. Eric's just came in. And to be honest, the fit and finish is not 100%. We think that Mercedes rushed the Black Series out because they knew it was going to be announced. So, we foresee cars like this, the C63s, S63s, they should, everything. They should go up. We're gonna see them go up. Yeah. So we're definitely seeing that already with the C63 market. And I think you're gonna see that with the 4x4 squared. The G63s definitely have already taken a big Dude, hike up, even further. G63s over MSRP brand new are like $80,000 over what the sticker is. Up to 150 advertised even locally. Insane. Yeah, the market, Insane. The market is nuts right so, now. So this is following suit. So what's really cool is that this car is worth more than what it was when I bought it, but could be yours, baby. Someone come and get it. It's at West Coast. Come through the front doors. Look for the women sign. That's where Hunter's office is. <laughs> Just look, look for that and be like, Hunter, I'm here to check out the 4x4 and good luck. I hope you, I hope you watching this right. I hope Johnny sitting at your desk. Little Johnny. Johnny, come by. It's here for you. Ask for Hunter under the women's sign. Call me. Serena just said something that I don't really know how to feel about. Wait, what did I, I, I'm I just I, I just picked her up uh, and we went to dinner and now we're actually stopping through a drive through pharmacy to pick up some experience medication because we're all out. I waited too long, you guys. I waited too long to refill my meds. She don't, goes, don't be like me. She goes, oh, should I go inside to grab the prescription because to be honest, it's kind of embarrassing how loud your car is. I was like, excuse me? What do you mean? I was like, did, I was like, it's that a, it's is a GT, not what I said. It's a GT3 I, RS. No. no, what do you mean? It's embarrassing. She goes, it's just, I just don't know how loud to talk. Is... And I'm like, whenever I go and get your medication and I go in this car, I just turn off the. Like, no, right now. you've never gotten it in this car. That's a lie. To get one of your medications literally a week and a half ago, I literally went in this car. <laughs> I can pull and it up on my phone. It's really loud. You guys, he doesn't understand how loud the cars are. I know you guys know. Actually, I know you girlfriends watching know. He doesn't understand. I kind of parked really far away from the curb. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be able to reach anything. <laughs> well, you better open your door. I didn't want to curb the wheels, so I like, got overcompensated. Are you Wait. sure they're open? Yeah, till 9 p.m. With the drive through th Monday through Friday. With the drive through Oh, you're right. Oh my god. What day is it? It's Friday. Oh, they're open till 9. I know. <laughs> okay, start this bitch up and I'll walk in. Oh, no. there she is. Hi. Hi. Pick up for Sabrina Lehman. Date of birth, 12-21-95. I just... That's not I, almost I, like once a vlog. I usually stop it and go. I know some of you guys can relate to me when your girlfriend says blank, and this <laughs> vlog was that. Your car is kind of embarrassing. It's kind of loud. Yep. That is that is not what I said. I said, literally verbatim. I said, spit it out, spit it out. Off camera, she's like, "Were you just hyping that up for the vlog? Your tone was kind of aggressive." No, that's what you said. That is not, I said, should I go in? Cause like. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Guys, Your card's in the bag. This man had to open up his door. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna sign up for you, I'll sign up for you. I said. <laughs> thank you. Ow. I just bumped my inner finger on the side of the car. I'm not wearing a band-aid. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. This whole clip, you can just put in this part. Oh. That right there, that start, that... What? This car is an embarrassing, but when we pull up to a quiet place, we're like underground right now. We're not. <laughs> no, we're like under a, under a thing. Like when you go under a bridge, it's like boom, like it's really loud. We're under a thing. Guys. We so are, show them the back. Guys, send help. We're under a thing. We're under like a little drive-through thing what you, underground that <laughs> guys that right there that's called underground i meant under a bridge <laughs> it's not a bridge <laughs> also not a bridge Fuck you well i i just Peace i out, keep moving forward <laughs> i know that i know that some of my dudes out there can relate
That's all I'm saying. Oh, That's all. The, the, this clip from the beginning was just to make a point saying, I feel some of you out there. Stay strong, you know? <laughs> We're in this together. All of us. I was just editing this video and realized that I didn't film an outro for it. We missed out on doing any flames or any any lag or anything like that. I was bummed. I know. Trust me. I know you guys wanted to see it too. I'm sorry. But the next time we go there, either the exhaust is going on. You know what? Next time we go there, the exhaust is going on. And then we get any lag. And then we finally take it home and do our first drive and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Be sure to hit subscribe so you make sure that you see the next video when I upload about the Lambo. And turn on the post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up. Please. Please do it because this build is costing me so much money and it is very stressful. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out and keep moving forward.